I come from a family of seven children. I'm the second born. And we, it's a Christian family. We have had, we have one, I think I believe we have one of the best families I've ever seen. I am truly blessed to have my parents and my siblings with us. And uh, for many years, we, we have seen that there was a problem in our family. There were several challenges. So the challenges I'm talking about are things like marital distress, challenges of divorce, separation. Those ones were there, although my parents still were together. But we could see that in their family, in our family and other families, relatives. And then when we came, now our siblings started also having issues with our marriages. And then there was serious stagnation. St I mean, uh, things like non-progress, poverty, uh, so, and backwardness. So sometimes someone will rise and then they reach a place where they start now going back. You start losing your job, you lose your investment, you lose your focus, you know. And people are getting on in years. So we're getting to a place where my siblings and I are getting to an age where our children now are becoming teenagers. Some of us have young adults. So it became a real serious, an, a sense, I mean, an issue of urgency. So when Pastor M announced uh, that we were going to do Simama as a, as a community, I knew from the beginning I wasn't going to do Simama. I thought Simama cannot handle the kind of challenges that we face. And I also thought that my family would never accept to do Simama. I thought this is something that is so out there. They would never accept. You go to different churches they probably would not believe that doctrine and they would probably have a, I would have a challenge getting all nine of us in the same place in April. The Lord just opened opportunity for us to start praying as a family. One day, I think it was our Thursday, the week after, and I was in prayer and, and I felt like the Lord was telling me, invite the people to do Simama. Um, when I asked them, they, they all said yes. I was surprised, I was thinking, hey, They've said yes, they don't know what they're saying yes to. <laughs> so, but the Lord had a plan. From week four now, we started seeing a certain backlash. One of us dropped off, didn't leave the group, but didn't attend class because they, again, there was some argument. I can see up and down, there's an attempt for the enemy to get people to be disgruntled by the, by the people in the group. And it's just internal wrangles things that have never probably been addressed, the way we've handled conflict in the past, things that we are learning right now in the class are manifesting as we go along. Now that we've started this uh, journey, uh, one of the things that we started doing is to confront issues. I think most of us, our style was to run, our style was to hide and not talk about our problems, issues that came up, would take, in fact, they would never be talked about. And those who wanted to talk would be victimized and they would feel very unsafe. So we've learned about being safe people. So now we are able, and we can see that happening, we are able to speak up for those who are not able to say, this is wrong, we are talking. And the people who have been feeling nervous about being real, have started seeing they are beginning to open up and they are sharing more. And they are able, now we're beginning to unearth issues. I know it's it's gonna be a journey for not everybody is going to be at the same place, but I I love that there are those who are leading and they're leading boldly. Yeah, it's quite an exciting experience. I know many people feel like their problems may be too heavy for God, and that Sibama will not be able to handle the kind of mess that is in their families. Uh, that was me at the beginning. And when the Lord asked me to do Sibama, I knew this was not me doing and it would not be me who will bring breakthrough in my family and so I let go and I, I would ask that they would sign up and trust God even with those situations that they don't see where they will end up just begin just start and then trust God to use you to change the hearts of the people that uh, you're doing Simama with let him continue let him do the let him let him do it